Hey everyone, it's Will uh, with another live stream for you. Uh, just let me know if you guys can hear me clearly. Um, just uh, making sure everything is uh, working well. Hey Ching, welcome. So if we're all good to go and everyone can hear me, I'm going to start um, burning some red keys. Uh, anyone else uh, just want to let me know if uh, things are okay? Okay, awesome. Hey, welcome Blue or Rubber Ducky. Welcome Ether. Let's, uh, let's start it. If you're wondering why it's a little bit early today, hi Irene. Um, I had to, um, I have to go out this afternoon actually and visit some relatives. And so, uh, doing the stream a little bit earlier today, and I know that it's not, probably not as, uh, um, not as, uh, you know, convenient for most of you. That being said, I'm glad for, uh, you guys to join. And, uh, yes, if you, uh, if you can't hear me, I guess, or if things go wrong, just type it in the chat, guys. Oh, sorry, Cackle. Uh, thanks for dropping by for a couple moments, though. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to actually give a shout out um, to one of my oldest and original Patreon supporters. Uh, he's not here. Hey, Jose. Um, he's not here right now, but his name is Ben. Uh, he goes with Ben2K, and that's his username, I believe. And so, I'd like to give him a shout out on this live stream. And just for all the support he's uh, giving me, um, yo. Know, over the time, over the last year and a half. <laughs> hey, Death Reaper, sorry that I scared you. So, same thing as usual, I'll be probably still doing, um, um, Zebraya, and I'm trying to grind out, uh, Clart to at least 75 Shadow. Yeah, I, re I really tried to uh, test out the uh, connection beforehand, and I know that occasionally it drops from time to time, especially the mic. Um, I, I found out that the reason why the mic kind of drops off is it's not necessarily the quality of the mic, if you're curious. It's actually the fact that um, apparently the audio is streamed a little bit different. Oh wow, thanks uh, Jose for the $5 super chat, that's awesome, thank you very much. I'm glad my videos do help. I actually haven't uh, done uh, any more testing on um, AS Akane yet. Um, I'm actually working on a couple of different things. I was actually play testing uh, my OG Hismina, um, being that I was chasing her down for the longest time. Congrats on the okay. AS Hismina. I'm still a couple of uh, um, tree DCs away from that, unfortunately. <laughs> Ether? Uh, or Aether? Uh, Melissa is just too awesome. Without her, I can't say that, um, you know, obviously, um, she just makes things a lot easier. Although, apparently, um, someone was saying that you can actually fight some of those um, new bosses when we, when we get Goddess of Time. You can actually do it uh, over and over again. So, I'll actually be able to t play test uh, both teams with and without, which is actually great. Aldo is a great choice, um, in my opinion as well, for grinding light. Uh, you know, mine again is uh, over 215, and uh, as I've mentioned on a previous uh, video, the only reason why I have put it off uh, doing more is because if books or tomes drop there for 5 stars, I want to have the ability to grind there without having any uh, issues in terms of, um, you know, duplicating light and having nothing come over. So I'm actually going to hold off for that for time being. 215 should be enough for me for now. Yeah, the speed speed stacks for Akane looks really good. Obviously, we're still waiting for her manifest, and like we talked about last week, having her er not erase her stacks would be pretty broken. I think if they enhance the speed boost a little bit in terms of giving her extra speed or maybe extra power, I think that would be enough. But yes, I think that most AS units, because of the way they have uh, uh, stacks removed, um, is really the only, um, you know, that would be the only power limiter supposedly. And so if you have unlimited stacks, it does unlimited damage. Congrats on the PCD! 10,000 
10,000 for a featured unit is, is a little bit ugly. Um, I've seen worse and I've seen better. So either way, congrats on that. Uh, Twin Destinies is a great uh, banner to summon on if you are spending eight zones. Um, Star Dream is better, but honestly, you're getting two ASs uh, for the price of one and it's guaranteed AS. Keep in mind that when you get an AS over an OG, right, you get uh, to save Treaty Seas as well. So it really helps speed things um, along, especially if you want to spend a little bit of money on the game. Cackle, congrats on your PC account. Um, so for those who play on... Uh, hey, Theatric Bandit, welcome. For those who play on um, PC, do you guys prefer PC over, um, you know, mobile? Uh, for myself, I still like uh, mobile, just easier for me. Uh, like I said many times, easier to port around. And I can bring my, in my case, iPad. I know a lot of people use their phone, but, uh, you know, it's easier for me to uh, look at things. And I, I do like the level of detail on the larger screen rather than on the small screen. So if you don't have a tablet, for example, obviously, uh, you know, computer would be the way to go. Oh, two unit AS. Mm. Sorry to hear that. That dupe suck. I think I'm planning to use AS Akane on uh, um, a team once I get, uh, uh, like a Katana Fire Slash team once I get uh, AS Sophia. Yes, AS Suzette. I really do like her. I know that she's been power crept a little bit, but still, one of my favorites. I like her design, I like the way she looks, and honestly, even performance during AF, not terrible at all. There are better ones though, unfortunately not. Oh yes, uh, Blue Rubber Ducky. The, yes, if they enhance with Type Resist debuff, that would really help. Uh, or if some of her boosts uh, help boost the whole team, that'd be great too. Uh, she's pretty selfish in terms of, uh, yo, her Anant Man only boosts herself, of course. JC, yes. Welcome to another Eden then, if you just recently started the game. Um, I think you'll find that this game is really reasonable in cost, both financially and the fact that I know we don't get a lot of free um, Chrono Stones, but the, the thing is, you don't need multiple dupes like other games to really enhance your units. I mean, if you get more dupes, of course you get a little bit of stat bonus, but really, you only need a 5 star or even a 4.5, and, a half, and it, it, as a free-to-play, um, you know, it is possible to get most of the units in the Alex. Welcome. Congrats on the Radius. I, uh... Upgraded her many year, uh, many I guess months ago when I first pulled her in the summer, and no looking back. I mean, paid the five chance and totally worth it. Hey, theatric bandit, definitely. Ea Suzette has uh, carried me through even when I paid the five treaties. Uh, I've used her in quite a few boss battles. I'm actually glad that you guys can join me on, on this uh, noon hour local time here. Um, you know, for those who just uh, drop by now, uh, the reason why I'm doing a noontime one is I have uh, errands and other things to do later on in the day. So it's a little bit different. Um, I try to still stream once a, a week. And I will also say, I, I apologize that I haven't been putting out any content. I'm sure most of you are feeling the same way. There really hasn't been much going on in uh, in another even uh, in global anyways. And, and really, the next uh, banner is only a manifest for AS Tuva as well as for um, the long-awaited AS Mew, I'm coming! And uh, yeah, she, I'm looking forward to grinding that. I know some of you will be summing on it. And of course, uh, you know, as a free to play, I always encourage grinding over summoning. But if you do need AS Tuva and uh, a kind of a shortcut to get AS Mew, that's the way to go. Oh, Pain Poison Center? You can use Enhanced Grasset nowadays. But I do, I did use OG Suzette as an AoE Pain Poison Center. And actually, that works out really well in Feature, like you said. Oh, glad to hear this time works out for you guys. Right, 8 hours ahead, right? So this is what, 8 p.m.? Pretty good. And yes, the final slash should get extra effects once you get boosted to the max. Like I said, I'm looking forward to um, more, uh, you know, the enhancement. But really, uh, I hope that the manifest battles become a little bit more challenging, either two, two stage or whatnot. I know that AS2 of us is going to be a little bit more challenging with a 20 million HP or something like that. But, so yeah. Yeah, I see the uh, number of viewers are uh, rising a little bit. So again, anyone who's uh, just joining us now, welcome. Um, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend or and your weather is good. Like uh, right now here, it's a little bit cool. It is still springtime, but it is sunny. So I'm enjoying that. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I think England's eight p uh, eight hours ahead. So, um, are you in a different far part of the Europe? Ah, uh, twins suck. Even now, twins suck. Don't feel bad. You'll get it. You'll get it soon. Especially if you're waiting really honestly for a shorter battle, you just need a really strong Pierce team or a Magic team at this point. 10 p.m. Well, hey, not too bad. Welcome. Kai. Yes, Seal AS will help a lot. Oh, okay, cool. Denmark, welcome. Actually, for me, I've never been to Europe. Uh, I would love to uh, travel once uh, restrictions are lifted. Um, you know, haven't really gone anywhere except I, I, I think I went once uh, to uh, Asia, to Hong Kong, to visit some relatives and friends. Oh, three in the morning. Okay, Ukraine again. Welcome. I'm always I'm always curious uh, what kind of international um, you know people watch my channel as well. Hey, Uji, welcome. Ah, uh, self in, in, in buff isn't that more that powerful, but you know, um, you don't need a second fire setter unless you're having trouble. I mean, I guess if they are taking on bosses that reset zone, then you will. And honestly, AS Gary will probably be enough for that. Um, but if you, especially if you're playing a magic team, right? But if you want a fire physical, yeah, sure, Hardy would do well because um, AS Radica does increase crit rate of both physical and um, magic. Hi! Welcome from all over, guys. That's cool. That is cool. Hey, what what is everyone else grinding? I mean, I know I'm doing Zebraia, which is kind of boring. Um, uh, you can let me know in the chat if you want to see some different dungeons. I mean, I, I'm not maxed in any light or shadow, uh, so it's not, uh, you know. Uh, uh, just give me a second, I just got to talk to my wife, sorry. Uh, gamer mom. Uh, no, we didn't pull this week. wanted to say, uh, sorry we didn't pull this week. Hey, howdy, Argent. Oh, did you become a YouTube member? I think if that's the case, that's very uh, recent. And if that's the case, thank you for your support. I see a badge next to your name. I didn't even realize that that's been the case. Howdy. Welcome from Greece. Anyways, uh, sorry. Before when I was talking, if you guys want to see me do some other dungeons just for a change of pace, I can do that. Um, you can have choices from here. I don't mind doing something like Miglins or uh, something else uh, if you guys want to see something different. Oh, Toto, I hated that one. I never got any of, I uh, didn't get enough of Amy's uh, um, Psalms, as you know, and when I had to go grind out Hardy, uh, not me, I mean uh, Dewey's home, it took me forever to get that one. But, you know, I, as many of you know, I needed that to uh, beat uh, the Fire Raccoon. <laughs> oh, I did, I did Xeno Domain for the longest time. I actually haven't finished upgrading the uh, true VC Grasta for my waifu. I really should. New York, I have been there once. Nice, AS Hismina, I am looking forward to adding her if I did. Thank you, Arjun, for the support. That's awesome. That is really awesome. I'm, again, I'm always glad and happy when you guys do enjoy the videos and again, I, for those who just joined, I am, uh, you know, a little bit behind. I took this week off in terms of creating stuff because, let's be honest, we can just, uh, you know, grind out some stuff and, um, you know, there wasn't too much to do and sometimes, as a, as a small YouTuber, I should say, it gets a little bit uh, tiring to try to put out content every day or two. But when it's, you know, new and exciting content, I definitely uh, I get excited and worked up and really want to put out a lot of content. When this quiet like this, especially with, um, no, nothing going on instead of banners, I, I actually, um, you know, took a couple of days off just to relax a little bit. So I do apologize for that. Hello, Tenjiro. Oh, yes, the five... 5 p.m. local time is probably 3, uh, 3 in the morning for you, so I, I'm glad you're enjoying this uh, time frame. 
green. Hi. Um, yeah, in terms of chant scripts and grinding out those from the um, storylines, I mean, it, 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 most of them require a lot of uh, red keys, and so that's the only downside to it. Um, but, you know, I, what I usually do is uh, each week when I was doing that, I would do a few days on the, trying to get some of the rewards and then a few days on just my regular grind because at the end of the day, we're all trying to still build treatises and chants and some of those dungeons don't have it. So, um, you know, just try, try to alternate uh, your targets and you shouldn't feel too uh, boring. 3 a.m. at this time. Yeah, well, if I had uh, if I had done a stream later on in the evening for me, then it would be morning for you guys. But uh, well, we, I guess we have so many international viewers, it's, it's hard to get the right timing for everyone. So maybe I'll just, uh, as I said, depending on my schedule, hopefully some of you guys can catch different things. Hey! First shadow of the day, sweet. I don't know actually, I think, I think it is, uh, non-percent would be, I think it's, uh, just increased, is it 15%? Yeah, with Mayufa it really helps a lot. So, okay, let's buy some keys. I don't find that I really needed to equip any of those uh, uh, totals, like different healing hammers on most of my healing units. I'm hoping that you're, you know, you we already can win the game without doing that. So, um, but if you want to optimize a heal, uh, definitely. 2 a.m. for you, Adrian. Sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. I am really happy that you guys decided to drop by and uh, watch for at least a little bit. Well, I, I am sorry to. Uh, you know, uh, mess up your sleeping time. I, I myself am actually a pretty chronic insomniac. I wake up a lot in the middle of the night for various reasons, so I, I feel the pain when you guys are a little bit tired. Lucas, hopefully your luck increases and you get some chance scripts. They do come, they do come. I've mentioned it many times. You're expecting one to two chants a month from red keys if you run, run dungeons, and then um, and then you get you know one or two, if not more, from uh, Garalia. So, you know, just be patient, you'll get there. Um, in terms of shadow for my part, I think 58. I'll check after this. Yeah. Not bad. 3 p.m., 3 hours ahead. Excellent. Well, ES Molina, ES Molina is coming out at Aether, so if you do have um, some extra stones, and you don't have any form of Molina, it would be a really good banner to um, summon on. I would have summoned on that if I didn't get uh, OG Molina or NS Molina out of, you know, out of my um, uh, Shadow Dog. Yeah, Aesuki is so awesome. I really want to get her. I have uh, a few Sarashima Hime. I think I have four. I don't want to pay to Severe Shim, so I'm going to wait. Congrats to everyone who's gotten some uh, chance and treaty seeds in the last couple weeks of April. Um, I obviously I had some uh, pretty broken luck uh, when I had all those uh, PCV runs. Um, last last little while since then, not much, but again, comes and goes, right? Hopefully they come in bunches for all of you, because as we all know, you can never have enough chance or treaty seeds. Oh, don't say that, Adrian. Always buy max keys for the tickets. You really want to do that. I believe you can farm for ES versions. I think they're, I think, I don't know if the exact translation, but I think the books won't be called tomes or treatises. I think they're called testaments. Jeffrey, welcome, and welcome to another Eden as well as the stream and the channel. You can upgrade from a four, uh, four and a half, I guess, those are upgradable. You can go directly to the AS, or you can go to the OG. Keep in mind though, when you upgrade to the AS, if you want both forms, you do have to pay two times. ES Molina is not, she has a heal, but her, she has a, those ESs have a, kind of like a separate AF bar. They do tremendous amounts of damage. Nice, Death. Five chance, that's a free unit, essentially. Yeah, I haven't checked out too many videos on ES Molina. Um, I was uh, very excited to see the first ES unit out there, so, um, you know, <laughs> it'll take me forever as a free-to-play to get that anyway, so what, six months? Oh, yes, Iya Sukiya and, uh, 
and um, is going to be broken with the second wind pierce zone, or pierce zone, I guess, is wind unit. But remember, bow, bow unit can be boosted by seal, AS seal, and Nakoko on the same banner. I mean, honestly, of course I'm going to have a Shuji Summon video on it, but I'm looking forward ahead, and unless I see some information that's different, that's essentially a 10 out of 10 banner. Um, if you have a form of uh, Sukiya, you could say it's not quite a 10 out of 10, because obviously you could dupe up, but you know, I think the the um, the risk of that is worth it. Um, JC, um, AS Annabelle is still a water zone setter, so still pretty good. AS Mighty is good on a magic zone team, especially with Manifest, but not the most powerful units in the game anymore, unfortunately. And in terms of AS Yuna being better, I think they have different units uh, uses. Uh, Yuna has the debuffs, shielding, as well as heal. But don't forget, AS Annabelle with the Zone Breaker with Unicorn Drive can do significant one-shot kills. And so if you don't have a uh, HP stopper, she'll do a ton of damage. I think she's going to be uh, very useful um, for some of those super bosses in the future, seeing that you can really boost that Unicorn Drive damage. Yeah, Foreign and Rosetta. Very tough choices. I don't know who I'd choose first. I think Foreign, honestly, um, being that I think Pierce has a lot more versatility than Magic. There's not as many Magic users. Users. Oh, let me see how many. Uh, let me see how much Shadow I have. Sixty-four. Okay, above average. <laughs> Iyasukiya and JP. Nice. Very congratulations. She she looks awesome. You're graceful, powerful, everything you want in a woman, right? So yeah, I'm hoping that I'll have an. Uh, I'll, I good night, good night, Cackle. Get a good night's rest. We'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I'm looking forward to that banner. I hope I have enough stones to grab um, that. Arthur, hello. Uh, they're both broken. Iyasuki and Nakoko, super broken. Yeah, I'm telling my sons to save for that banner as well. Um, unfortunately, they get tempted, and you know how it is. Yes, Skiryu is a free AS unit. You should definitely get him to 5 star and then AS form. I know that other zone setters for fire are a little bit better, and, or, or, or I should say different. Uh, you got Hardy as well as um, now a AS. Um, what was that? Uh, AS. Um, Radica. However, I don't have either of those, and I still find AS um, Garyu is very useful. Don't forget OG Garyu at 5 stars with Manifest has a massive AoE, clears everything in one hit. Yep, all three of my kids play. Um, one has a channel which he kind of tinkers around with, that's Jeff Morrison of course, which is on my featured channels list. Um, he does random stuff. And then I have two other younger children and they kind of, uh, they play. I will say they're less hardcore because, you know, let's be honest, if they're not going to maximize their um, saving and stuff like that, they summon daily and it's not going to be nearly as efficient. Uh, no, I think you, I honestly think you can go from 4.5 or OG directly to ES. So if you have a 4.5 Sukiya, I think you just have to grind out the testaments once you get there. Hey Michael, welcome. I'm glad you could drop by. I know the time, uh, the time difference for, works better for some than for others. So, um, you know, Alcron, hi. <laughs> 64 shadow. Hey, working towards a uh, 75. I, if you're wondering why I'm preferentially grinding this over other units, um, my strategy is this. Oh, sanctuary. Let's see if we can get a chant script here. Rare, first rare um, area of the day. Um, I always grind shadow preferentially over light, uh, being that there's way more uh, 
light units and stat armor. So um, I really do think that um, if you're going to grind uh, someone, grinding Garyu for example, Gildna. Um, Gildna's not as powerful as uh, the new Aldo. Uh, and also Clark AS is eventually coming after chapter 10. He is supposed to be extremely powerful. Uh, against weakness, he hits among, uh, among the most powerful from Magic Zone. And not to mention, he's just kind of cool. So, you know, um, having his shadow up will be very useful in that sense as well. Me, favorite episode? Either, uh, it's gotta be two knights. I really do like Deidre and um, um, Annabelle. Annabelle was my second five star as well, so I have a you know, I honestly have a you know partial feelings and that and just attachment in that sense. Not to mention, Annabelle has tanked her way through much of the game for me, and I, and I know a lot of newer players, it's all about DPS, but you know we had to tank a, a lot back in the day, and so um, yeah, really, really do enjoy that two nights. Although I will say, IDA is also a new favorite of mine as well. So those two are extremely uh, awesome for me. Um, I think you'll have to use the items separately if you're going to use those dark and light items or um, stuff like that. So I'm not really sure. I don't know how, or, or maybe when you switch, you can give it to them in both ways, which would be more useful. We'll see. I haven't do that. <laughs> Radius doesn't need an AS. She's already pretty good. Sweet. One tome for... Oh, another shadow. Excellent. Pretty good. And a tome, of course, for um, Milsha. Hey, that's good to know. You can use two different items to boost them. That's sweet. Ah, Violet. Yeah, she's also good. The fact she won more is great. I do use her on Earth teams from time to time. <laughs> I think in the end, um, you know, not just power creep, but just to kind of refresh a lot of older units. All the older units are probably going to have an ES of some form. Um, the storylines are all going to have ASs of some form. You know, it's gonna, it's, it, it's just the way it is. And um, you know, uh, I think the devs are pretty good in balancing both new content and in terms of completely new units like Nokoko or that Garum or whatever it is, um, and all, obviously uh, refreshing or power uh, powering up some older units. Um, and honestly, if they power up older units, really good for people like me um, in that fact that I can choose to summon or choose to uh, grind. Oh, boss rush uh, is going to be awesome. I don't think it's going to be extremely challenging. I don't think that they're, they're not like 500 million HP. So that'll just be like forming a uh, team and then just beating them down, I think. Haha, <laughs> lovely. And yeah, AS Bertrand is pretty good. I love um, the Mythos uh, Song of L, I guess they call it. The one that Molina and uh, I think uh, Milsha can sing it too. Stifling song. I think they call it differently. Oh, from the cooking. The frying pan. Is that from uh, Tales of? Yeah, me neither. I, I, I definitely am looking forward to Boss Rush. I think um, anything new mechanic-wise to the game will be pretty exciting. Yeah, that Garm. I mean, the fact that he looks really, really powerful, I think I want to add him to my team. But the problem is, apparently he's shared in a banner with A.S. Suzette. And I don't find that half banners have nearly the same value as a full banner, so to speak. Hey, Xion will be decent for boss rush. I think there's um, uh, some stipulations with team comps, and I think you actually need an all-guy team. So I think, uh, you know, I'll dust him off and use him. I, I know he's not really as powerful as he used to be, but hey, him, Gilna, fire, fire team, Aldo, not bad. And I will also say, 
um, just from my own personal views on the game. So this is just my personal view. You guys don't have to listen or not, but I don't feel that you need the most newest units to DPS everything to death. A lot of times, um, my friend and I talk about this. A lot of times, uh, it's, it's called win more. You're already winning, and you're just winning harder. Like you know, if you can do one billion, two billion damage, but the boss only needs like two hundred million. Does it really matter? And if the answer is yes, and you need big numbers, then you know you definitely want to summon all the issues. If I can squeak by with my, say, mediocre team and win the boss, I think that's already good enough. And keep in mind that that most likely meant that I didn't summon on the nearest units, in which case, if power creep is going to be a thing, hey, I'll be summoning later on and I'll be able to have everything anyways. <laughs> yeah, the d damage barrier looks crazy good. Hey, we already have a pry. And I think pry as a free unit will allow a lot of different strategies as a free uh, free to play account or all, like or, or an all free unit attack however you know um, I think Garam, Garam or Garam is going to be awesome too yeah I can't say I have any experience with AFC on um, haven't summoned on it didn't side grade saving all my chance and treaty seats for the time being AS ability is one I want though uh, to side grade eventually so yeah I mean funny thing is you know, everyone was, um, I don't know if you guys remember back in uh, the fall when AS, Foreign, and uh, Phil Lily came out. Remember how everyone was saying that's a super 10 out of 10 banner? And I think my Should You Summon video was, no, it was, hey, Phil Lily. Um, I said, said that I didn't feel it was 10 out of 10 banner, and you know, I still stand by my, um, by my comments because Phil Lily is very powerful. I, I actually got the combo with her and Victor. And honestly, I don't use them very much in boss battles. So, you know, I think she has a lot of flexibility and she can do a lot of DPS with the right setup, but yeah, you can probably beat things with others. Ha, <laughs> winning harder is fun. Yes, more men is, more husbandos is great. Oh, yeah, I, I just beat horrors for fun, honestly. Um, there, you do need the crafting. I've crafted everything anyways, but I'm here anyways, and Melissa gets a bar so quickly, I just bar it down. So, uh, I think if you've crafted everything, you can speed run it. When I speed run, I tend to still fight a little bit, and I know I can optimize it with like, uh, you know, uh, reducing the encounters and so on and so forth, but, you know, I, I, I don't mind just playing a little bit more. Uh, let's see. In terms of upgrading units, um, yeah, I, 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 my general rule is um, only upgrade units you absolutely need to beat the content. Otherwise, don't. Uh, all very hard uh, dungeons that, send, uh, that, that, that don't have points will have chance scripts, and so it's just your luck. Um, so, for example, um, you know, I try to go to dungeons that have um, books or tomes that I need to upgrade or uh, grind out for VC Grasso. So, Miglin's Castle, for example, Snake Liver Damaku. At one point, I was doing Rift Breaker for uh, Mariel's VC Grasta. All of them have a chance of chance grips. Just feel like your luck and see how it is. Uh, Tim, you're asking what I will summon on next? Um, still debating. There's a lot of new uh, banners that are coming, and I don't have any form of and I have to decide if I'm going to do it. For example, no Tiramisu on my team, no Dunerith on my team. I believe AS Tiramisu as well as AS um, um, Dunerith are coming. I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to summon on those or not. I'm tending actually probably not, but haven't decided until the last minute, and we'll see if I YOLO pull. Um, Nokoko is probably the one I'm going to be focusing on. And um, you guys have seen my bank of um, uh, of um, uh, stones. I believe as of today, I probably have around 10k. So, being that I'm expecting to get to that banner in about three months before the Goddess of Time comes to um, you know um, global, I'll probably have about 15k stones. So. Quite a bit. Um, I don't plan to burn all 15k stones because you know when you're unlucky, you're unlucky, and um, so I'm hoping to get um, Nakoko, but you know that's not a guarantee. Mementos will not have chance. Present day Gearlia do have chance if you go to those hard, uh, those uh, areas without um, collecting junk. So you know obviously, um, present will have what temple ruins, 
um, Jiraiya, there's a few. Uh, Spectre Palace. Good point, Alcron. White Keys is definitely a source of getting transcripts, although of course they're extremely low attempts. I agree with the uh, Daenerys being a good ult, uh, replacement, but again, do I m absolutely need it to be content? And this is why I'm trying to weigh out um, whether or not I want to do it. Keep in mind, remember that I always keep on saying, a good try at a banner is what? Um, 4 to 5k stones, right? Even at 15k stone, that only means 3 banners really realistically unless I one-shot luck. So which 3 banners? So, you know, Nokoko's a 1, you know, and then there's newer unit after. Remember, we're, as we catch up, we're going to run out of uh, uh, stones because we're going to catch up to Japan. And I know they're going to slow down their releases, but the fact that we have, like, say, 12 banners, I only have enough for three good tries at three banners. I mean, you know, tough. And same with the AS Tiramisu. Do I need her? I can beat everything, so I don't need to worry about the mob clearing. And I have an Earth Zone in my Ufa, which does more than adequately. So do I need a second one? Mm, hard to say. Yeah, I mean, for now you have to you, you have to grind those anyways to finish up the the story the, those uh, reward uh, things. Jose, don't feel bad. Michael, ES Molina is tempting. So, still, don't summon, in my opinion, unless you have no form of Molina. Oh, that sucks, Arthur. I know. Uh, trying to restart an account um, and get a new one is good and bad. Hopefully you get one on your newest account, or your most, you know, current account, so to speak. I know that um, Scott from uh, uh, another Eden, I guess their, um, you know, their, their uh, kind of their Twitter team, he just live streams on the official channel, and I think there was a survey as to what you want to watch him do, like super bosses, or um, you know, summon, and I think people wanted him to do super bosses because I think he's a more of a casual player, is he not? He doesn't uh, play everything, so you know, it should be exciting him. Hopefully, beating the twins if he can do that live. Um, Jose, in terms of grinding, which best grass stuff? No, I don't have a guide. I only have uh, 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 in my back to basics playlist. I do have videos on talking about just like the basics of Grasta and kind of what to expect in terms of getting it. My general rule is finish off all of present, uh, try to finish all of antiquity, although those aren't as important. However, I still feel that the grind for yeah, AS Gary uh, Shadow is still worth it. So you might as well finish everything there and then obviously move on to antiquity um, to get um, you know more enhancement and those dormant ores. So, um, my priorities for upgrading Grasta in general, tier 3 <laughs> elemental Grasta, those are the power of Gale for example, power of, uh, you know, those power quake, the super powerful ones that give 30% elemental damage, those are by far the most preferential, um, being that they, remember once you enhance them with Dormant or from Future Gerolia, it shares the ability with anyone on the same team, that will work really well in the future. Um, that's my priority. And then obviously, uh, in terms of Grasta's next, I usually go with my uh, whatever team I need. So Pain, Poison is obviously useful. Um, sometimes Almighty Powers, for example, Daily Lady doesn't have any shade boosting. And so Almighty Powers give type boost, like, you know, 25% boost to damage there. Hey, Yonko, welcome. Yeah, I saw that, Michael. I hope, uh, you know, you've been luckier after that. It sounds like, you, I remember you got Rosetta eventually, so yeah. Yeah, 300k damage for Tiramisu is pretty good, but again, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, in terms of spending money on this game, uh, I do know that, you know, there, uh, there's no pity, obviously. Um, yes, any 30% damage is great. Uh, there's also Paw Power of Void, which is in present day, and that's useful for people who have Void, like non-elemental damage. That has a 40% boost. 
uh, based on uh, what I was saying earlier about no pity, that is the one downside of uh, uh, another Eden, which is a very strong drawback, uh, especially if you spend uh, money, uh, being that they can't guarantee a, the unit after a certain number of pulls. And so, um, you know, that's that's one small downside. Uh, overall, though, I think the gadget system is around the same, if not better than other ones. Like I said many times, no need for multiple dupes. Uh, one five star, even if it's the one you already have, um, in three ten pulls, is not terrible. That means around one per month, um, if not two, and they give us some cool stuff from time to time too, right? Huh, Twelve hundred dollars on your wife? Oh, that's easily surpassed. That's easily surpassed. Mother's Day is tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, see, that, that's the thing. 15k stones and the faithful. It's brutal. Like, I have, I have a story actually, if you guys want to hear it. My, my friend, of course, who plays uh, with me, he, uh, I think I mentioned this before. He spent 14k on Radius, and he got, I think, only one or two five stars. Both of us here had a four and a half, so it was of no use. I think he got Shannon and Ewan. I mean, this is OG, by the way. So you know, not the not the most powerful units. And then um, he he was really lucky on Yukino. He got that in one temple. Oh, I out of Kizare. Let's get some more. And then he lost another fourteen k on AS Rosetta. And that one he got no five stars. So essentially, twenty eight k burnt on two banners, and that just super set him back. And he was actually very nice, uh, good about it. He didn't complain. Like he wasn't like a uh, swearing or anything. I know if I were doing that, I would be salty for a very long time. Oh yes, it is Mother's Day if you guys, since you're ahead of the uh, time wise. Oops, I actually made a mistake there. <laughs> that wasn't the smartest. So now I forget that they're resistant to magic. I know I usually use Calamity or Glint Gale, but uh, you know, it happens. I was actually saying um, that um, I've been a little bit... Uh, Honestly, uh, I, I think when it's quiet time like this in the game, you know, you uh, it can get boring at times, and we're always waiting for new uh, content like collabs and stuff like that. But you know, the devs have to work on new things as well, so I totally understand that. I hope so. Haven't had a chance on the live stream yet, Arthur. Yeah, Radius is great. Holy, one twenty light, sweet. Um, I do find she's useful. I mean, I know there's more power crept units in the game. The fact that she's got elemental shielding 50%, she's got auto rage, auto heal, guaranteed pain set, very very useful. Quad hit for fire. Yeah, Myris is great. And keep in mind, that's only 16 light. I side graded her. So she's not even like, you know, super mega. It's just that I have um, the beast, uh, uh, almighty power beast shared with Gilda and her. And obviously, uh, enhanced staff damage, bobble staff, there's a lot, and of course, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, um, she does a lot of damage. And she self boosts herself, anyways, right? Int and speed, three stacks. Yeah, I think in, in, in terms of summoning, you set a budget and you go with it. If you're lucky, you're lucky. If you're not lucky, you're not lucky. And that's the only way you can do it. In terms of quitting after getting 28k lost, yeah, um, well, you know, he made up for it. I think he got Milsha in 2k, he got uh, Yukino in 1k, so hey, RNG uh, take and give. So, you know, it is what it is. He got Phil Lily in the uh, rainbow drop. I mean, these are all things he lucked out on, so, you know, just like me. I've had at least two runs of 10k nothing, like no 5 stars, and then, you know, you get a couple of 5 stars in like one run. Yeah, I think the new uh, Grasta, when I get those, I'll, I'll have to take a look and see how it is. 
haven't really been keeping up with the uh, future stuff um, other than just banners because for me it's more important to ha uh, like for me um, and my friend as well I feel that roster building and um, resource management is actually more important in the game than even um, you know some of the other mechanics because if you think about it if I delay playing the game but I balance my resources as in stones, champs, trees, and stuff like that properly, and red keys and green keys. I can pick up the game, and I won't have any loss in that sense. Whereas if I I, um, I, I make a mistake in team building, roster building, and something, it can really set you back quite a bit. Because like I said, as a free to play, what you're only expecting, you know, uh, one about fifteen hundred to two thousand stones a month, and one mistake can set you back forever. Hey Jordan, welcome. Ishigiri should be coming soon. Yes, AF Mew for sure. Um, there's, uh, I always use mirror keys to kind of track uh, what is the next update. Um, I can't remember now. Let me look. Hold on a second. to bring it up on my computer since I'm uh, on that upcoming content. So it looks like uh, um, Miu AS is first, which should be coming up honestly Sunday, Monday, so another couple of days. I expect it really soon. Yuella, which is shared with um, AS Annabelle, and then Dunerith, and then Melina. Uh, sorry, Dunerith AS, and then Melina a ES, and then Shigeri. So five updates from now. Radius is better. More, more use. R remember when you're building a team comp? Uh, you should definitely build based on um, how many s roles a unit can fill. Remember, Radius can tank, Radius can debuff. Oh yeah, don't forget the 25-25 debuff. Radius can elemental shield, Radius can rage, Radius can pain set, and Radius can auto heal herself. Priority, by the way. I don't think that many units can do that. Not to mention Radius sets uh, zones. Ah, uh, Daenerys does great 5-star healer support. Um, not a bad choice. Depends on your other teams, but not a bad choice. Hey, welcome to everyone who's joined this chat. I see the numbers are rising just a little bit. The thing about a uh, Daenerys, which is great, he has a slash attack, so he can be a healer in a slash zone. I think a lot of people used that back in the day. Um, A.S. Xion doesn't have a lot of use now, um, can be used as a tank, but the meta is going more for DPS, so if you are choosing to summon or uh, side grade, I would advise against it and save your chance for other units. Uh, App Store update, what do you mean by that? I agree with Argent. Um, in terms of healers, honestly, you say you don't need healers, but again, if you watch some of the videos on Super Bosses, um, I'm pretty sure you'll need some healers. You're gonna die otherwise. So, you know, you don't need healers when you're beating the game badly, but when you're up against Super Content, unless you out damage the boss, you'll need to survive with a steady rotation. Aeshion's only average. In terms of your healer, um, obviously, yeah, Daenerys is a much superior healer uh, over those uh, over Morgana or Mila. I will say I use Morgana quite a bit uh, because of the debuffs as well and the 1506 skill. But I found that he has a, a three uh, slot syndrome where he can't get all the um, moves he needs. I always use wind heart, wind high booster as well, right? Nice. Radius, AS unit, and AS Mia. Strong team. Yuri is great too. Agreed. Mariel is still... I, I find even though she's been... People say she's been crowd crap. Her VC for elemental shield. Her mega heal with MP regen. I mean... I think she's great. Can't say anything.
Yep. I think uh, I think Yuri fits a lot of uh, moderate heal requirements for a slash zone, especially wind slash. However, I still think Mario has some niche uses that no one really can fit uh, in terms of pure heal, status removal, and so so forth. Oh, Ching, looking forward to it. Uh, update quest. Um, not really sure what we get out. Apparently, we get some Grasta. Is that correct? Oh, death! I have a, I have an 84 um, Mariel. The extra slot you would think it's useful. However, again, unless you're using a ton of Mariel right now, you know, I don't really use her in any teams at the moment. That being said, I will dust her off when boss time comes. But if I do, yes, I'll definitely have Aurora Force, Pure Cradle, Pure Leaf, and probably Holy Burst. Still no chant. No treaty say either, guys. I should say ladies and gentlemen. I know that there's a, you know, there's women who play as well, and I welcome both men and women to play. Because let's be honest, we are, um, you know, I think men and women both like the game. I think the game is well written and very well done. Oh, Almighty Power of England. Looking forward to using that with ASMU. Super broken. Not like she doesn't boost enough Miglin's power herself. <sighs> okay, not much. Yeah, if she's your light battery, then definitely. Ooh, don't use your Chrono Stones for runs, Jose. I highly ad uh, advise against that, unless you're a paid player, like you use, uh, you know, you, you, you spend money. Because it does enhance your progress through the game, but you know, I think uh, stones are better used for um, summoning, to be honest. And I would not use uh, Sabira's gems on chant scripts. You're better if you run enough red and green keys, especially if you buy dungeon keys using Sabira's gems, those chant scripts will drop and you're saving yourself. I think I did the math one, and 400 is way too expensive. If you spend 400 red and green keys, you'll get a chant script more often than not instead of 400. Um, buying. A uh, regen worm? Uh, you need uh, two phases. I think the first phase is weak to wind, second phase is weak to magic. So um, you have a couple of DPS and you can either first or one turn or two turn the first part and then you have to have a magic user and a team of magic users wipe it. You can actually power through with tiramisu uh, being that the second phase they're resistant to physical attacks um, vulnerable to magic attacks, so um, keep that in mind. I, I have an older video of beating Regen Worm. That's pretty straightforward. You use, uh, you can use Garyu, uh, use Morgana for debuffing, and then you use, you know, whatever magic units you have. If you use, obviously nowadays there's a lot more strategies, but yeah. So you can check that out, or if you need um, some assistance, you can obviously ask for help here as well. See, yes, there you magic uh, boost magic damage a lot, especially with the manifest. Yeah, you can you can write it down and see, but in the long runs, I don't think you're gonna be. Um, I don't think you'll come out ahead, to be honest. Okay, and there you go, Argent with the uh, math. <laughs> ASU and so broken. Hey, look at me, I'm still using Garyu. Obviously he's very useful still. I do find that a lot of things depend on grass stuff setups as well. Um, and you want a lot of synergy. So, you know, you, you, we, we have to think beyond just, um, for example, elemental, just having fire, fire, fire. And by doing it this way, when you set up, you really can do... Um, better in that sense and having a lot of damage. Because if you don't have a right grass to set up, your numbers are just not going to show up very well. And you do need a lot of synergy, like for example, if I fit a bunch of weird, like for example, let's just say I have my most powerful units, like, oh you got like a Milsha, you got an like, AS Rosetta on the same team, and then you have ASU, and like, it works, but you're better off, for example, having a team that just does Focus damage, so all slash for example with a healer, or all pierce, 
or all wind. Like you know, you need a you need a lot of uh, synergy in that way. And then they can also share grasso with those dormant ores as well. You only want a varied team when you're walking through the overworld, because obviously through the overworld you can run into different uh, different weaknesses, and so you just carry one AOE of each unit, uh, or you can use obviously some of those grass setups for those with uh, dexterity's commands, for example, or hammer hits all that kind of thing. In Fire Zone, I do think Hardy and Radica are better than Garyu, but hey, Gary is free, and that can't be replaced either. Like, I'll, I'll put it this way, I don't have a Hardy, and it hasn't really stopped me from being stuff, and so I really do think that, um, you know, uh, having more units gives you more flexibility in trying to build a team, but by no means that it should be a barrier to beating things if you don't have the absolute power, most powerful units. JC, in terms of characters changing to AS, only some of them can. Mo a lot of people do have AS forms or another style forms, but not all of them. So you just have to check the wiki and see which ones have it and which ones don't. Overworld is just outside dungeon, so you just walk around and kill stuff. Oh, we're talking. So anyways, we're talking about grass test setups, for example. I'll just show you like this setup. So you can see that. This gives 30% fire for everybody who has a staff. Now, I don't have any fire staff users, but on a Rosetta team, it's going to be awesome. Increases type attack for him, more damage. Obviously, fire attack does more damage. Now, you're wondering about my Myris, right? So, that's obviously the case. More earth attacks, for example. VC Grasta, obviously better. More int and, you know, enhanced VC. Gives everyone who has quick attacks more, so there's no one who has that, but still. Instant speed is great, and this one helps everybody. Enhanced max, max HP staff, so just on regular farming or on a magic team, that will enhance everybody, everyone does more damage. Oh, you're welcome, JC. Now, for those who are wondering about my, uh, uh, I know a lot of you already know why I use Melissa, but if you're wondering why I'm using Melissa on this team, it's because I can build up a bar in two turns, and I actually know the speed of my units. Gary is slowest, uh, so in terms of speed, Melissa's fastest, then Myris, then um, then Gilna, and then Gary. So if I want three hits in, I'll use Gary to build the bar 30%. If I only need two hits, or they're vulnerable to slash. I will use uh, Gildna, and if I only need one hit, I'll just use Myrus. And that saves time. And then I get my bar. Um, well, if I switch it, I'll, you can say I do more damage, but shared anyways, right? Oh, rare area, let's go. Let's go. <coughs> I hope I get a chance script and do it live. Yes, Nadera Volcano very hard. 10 runs, not guaranteed. Not guaranteed. I hear it can take anywhere from a couple weeks to just 5 runs, so it really depends. Dormant Ore, they dropped in uh, Future Garalia, uh, mainly. That's that's how you do it. Yeah, I think you can buy it as well, right? But they just dropped that to reward dungeons. And make sure, again, make sure... Oh, crap. F, no chance scripts. Make sure you maximize your Light and Shadow to 360 to get all those rewards. More reward lines, remember, equals more rewards. In general. No, uh, Alcron. I've had two rare areas and zero for two, so pretty standard. I mean, I've run the keys, what? I don't know, a dozen keys? You know, one in ten chance? Technically one in five since there's two rare areas. Nice, 165. Make sure you work on getting eventually 360. 
grind out that uh, Aldo light. I actually have a hundred something dormant or haven't even bothered using them all yet. I do like this uh, Muse uh, BGM because it's almost like echoing through the keys. Very, very nice. Oh, I do extra encounter so I can build my bar. So each of the uh, uh, encounters can get me a 30% bar. So I need two encounters to get half bar and then I can take on the horde directly. I also find that it's more quickly, quicker that way because he's in the way of me getting one of the treasure chests. And again, I realize I don't need the materials at this point, but I'm cheap. I want all the treasure chests. Uh, in terms of- hey Toby, welcome. Uh, in terms of this dungeon, Zebraya, this is a Western AD. Uh, you get Clart, yes, as uh, Adrian uh, pointed out. So I'm grinding Clart's shadow. Not to mention, don't forget, you can get some weapons here that you can craft and enhance with the materials to get enhanced lightning damage for, I think, Fist, Katana, and something else. <laughs> yes, without Melissa, I would be running dungeons very, very differently. At this point, I do not recommend grinding other lands. Uh, if you're wondering why I have high end other lands weapons, like some of them are plus 8, plus 10, it's because if you're a day one player, back when there were green keys, there was literally nothing else to do with them. I had finished all the hard versions of dungeons and certain dungeons hadn't come out yet so we they released other lands as basically a stall tactic and we grinded out all those weapons for Barakai, um, Ratley and El Zion. I guess if you really want to do it for collection's sake just to craft the first time you'll still need to run at least I think 10 runs of the dungeon so keep that in mind if you really want to commit, commit that that's 20 green keys per uh, other lands section and so uh, it's okay I guess that being said it's all power crap now so you'll be uh, able to clear it very easily it took me like 30 40 minutes for a run sometimes back in the day hey 4.5 Melissa is good enough she still establishes a zone and you still can win with your other units agreed with the support Melissa man so glad I eventually uh, summoned for her again. I went back to her banner a couple times, right? I was really lucky. Uh, I think I spent 2k and then I spent 1k and I got her as a 4.5 on the second time I tried with a 1k. That was on Valentine's Day actually. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you can skip as well as long as you're doing something where you game and upgrading. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Hey, Shirushi. Uh, Shirushi. Welcome. Uh, Mona is a great unit for support, especially if you have a, a moderate wind team. Uh, back in the day, I used wind high booster a lot. Um, not to mention... Uh, Matsukunda does have a 15% debuff of speed, power, and int. Very, very useful, especially if you don't have a if you have a limited roster. No, do Gary first. Besides, Melissa will be a Slayer Tome, which is only from uh, 
which is from Industrial Ruins Very Hard, it drops fairly regularly there. Melissa? Um, I don't know about must have, but she allows a, a lot of one turn strategies you can't get any other way. If you're talking Star Dream, I would consider her a number one priority for Star Dream. So I hopefully that answers your question. In terms of featured units, I wish I had a um, Yukino. <laughs> Glad that worked for you, Death. Um, 20 chance? Not bad. Um, try to upgrade units that are free that you need. So, for example, uh, some people find that they recommend upgrading Jade, for example. Garyu, obviously. Serene. Uh, Azami, I don't know if you need her anymore, but definitely the free units are upgradable. Obviously, use the chance that way. And then depends on what else you need. Clark AS will be free. And if you're grinding Shadow, oh, hey, you can grind both, alright? Clark in this dungeon, Garyu in Antiquity, your choice. Again, for those who have um, been playing like myself for a long time, my Gary Shadow is already super high, but in terms of people who are newer to the game, that's the problem. You have to choose which one you want to grind and yeah, it's tight, tight. Oh, hey Super Saiyan. Hope you had a great dinner. Oh, hey, first treaties of the day. Not a very good one. But I'll take the shadow instead. Sweet. So in about 13 keys, I think we got three shadow. Not bad. One in five anyways, right? Oh, hey, Straw Boy's level 80. I guess I better uh, uh, reincarnate her, him. Even though I don't need it, I still do reincarnate, um, reincarnate as uh, Straw Boy. Well, actually, I'll use a different team. Here we go. I upgraded my Umfa too. Still useful. Oops. Sorry. So if you're wondering how I set up, this is what I do to kill the, the things. More traditional, shall I say. More traditional. Full heal. Glorious tea stock and then we win. Hey, Callie, is Yukino that good? Ah, interesting. You got cheese tactic with Snowman, avoids super death attacks. Um, not to mention bow boost, crit damage boost. Seems like a really good all around package. Hey, Bing, Bing Feng. Uh, between the two? Oh, tough. Depends on what you need. See, if you don't have another fire zone, you'll still need AS Gary in some way, shape, or form. So. He can't be upgraded any other way. If you have a fire zone already, go Mayufa. If you don't have a fire zone, go Garyu because you can you can also fight the battles too to unlock AS Garyu, which gives you stones by the way. Do you guys even do this? Plant seeds anymore? I only do it every so often. Okay, let's warp back. Remember, don't incarnate, reincarnate if you don't have level 80. Otherwise, you're wasting it. I love Zami's music too, by the way. Uh, Arthur, no one yet. AS Dunerith will. That's why AS Dunerith will be an improvement over uh, Garyu with Manifest. However, that means you have to spend stones too. Oh, really? Well, once you get there, Arjun, it'll be enjoyable. That's uh, still part of the storyline. I will say, now that he has 153 light, the fact that we have double badges, it actually matters. So, after reincarnating, of course, we have to make sure um, that we put on the extra um, grind there. Double bat equip. That's 70% extra XP, guys. Awesome.
Hey Toby, yeah, if you're new to new, hey see ya, Super Saiyan. Uh, if you're relatively new, you haven't seen all the uh, content, that makes sense as well. Okay, let's uh, put that straw boy here. I always use my sixth slot to uh, grind out people. Okay, let's let's uh, switch over. Okay, party seven. Let's go. Time to run some of these and see if we get anything other than. Um, you guys saw it last week. A lot of nothing. Let's see how many high class scrolls we get this week. Oops, oh yeah. Hey, if you see a guy, make sure you get that reversion ore. Yep, that XP really does matter. It really enhances uh, the speed of upgrading the straw boy eventually. Ah, just bar this. Why not? Do you have a bar? Yeah, I, I hope I get Daenerys eventually. Um, just not sure if I'm going to be summoning on AS Gary on uh, Daenerys. He seems like an upgrade for my team. Just can't be sure I need him. Oh, if you rearm Kane at level 80, then you'll add one light permanently to um to Strabo. If you rearm Kane at a lower level, you will not get the light. And so we were building light on Starboy obviously as a light battery, just in case you need it. Hey, let's run some uh let's run some uh, stadiums. Um Reen, I actually have a couple of videos on uh, how to grind XP on my back to basics uh, playlist. I think depending on which part of the game you're in, you can either do um, Beast King's Castle, which is uh, obviously if you're relatively earlier in the game. Actually, even underneath once you're in the mid to late game, you can actually grind underneath there. And nowadays, I think actually you get more grinding um, done in the satellites. Okay, uh, I think we're back in business. So I'm going to run, uh, run this and uh, kill this. Full bar makes it a lot easier. Hey, Bokus, welcome. Thanks, the Atri Bandit. Wasn't too bad. Just had to reset my uh, Streamlabs. KK, yes, ASMU is the best. However, remember, you can still grind out the Treaty Seeds. So if you're a little bit patient and you don't have a lot of stones, better to do it that way. However, if you have a lot of, if you don't have AS Tuba, could be a good summon to go for. Yes, you should bring Amy to grind out that light as well. Oh crap. That wasn't very nice. Not sure. I don't find OG Mel uh, um, Melina that useful anymore. Okay, the time has come. Oh, come on! <sighs> so we start off the uh, first run with a bunch of nothing as usual. Yeah, you can bench carry you if you if you find you have enough. Hey, power pain, not bad. Yes, Alfeca is my favorite as well, or one of my favorites. There's such so so many good. Um, Soundtracks.
If you're going to upgrade those two, between those two, definitely Miu Mi AS over Radical AS. If you're talking about upgrading. Yes, Milsha's awesome. But she still needs a lot of work in order to get maximum damage. Okay, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the live stream. I know, uh, you know, uh, we've actually had some pretty good luck. Not too much technical difficulties. Hopefully we have some luck in terms of drops, so not really much happening here. Um, I think Radica does, uh, sorry. Miu boosts teams a lot more, uh, especially those who are already, um, Miglin's Castle, and so you can actually form a pretty good team with Miglin's Castle, obviously, already. Like, you have, you can use Deidre, you can use Annabelle, especially Annabelle AS, yes, if you really, I know that's not the same element, but you know, Radius, for example, is Miglin's, don't forget. So, um, not to mention, it's just, it doubles the boost as a support, not to mention her damage is mega as well. <laughs> Thanks for the kind words, Michael, I'm glad to hear that. I actually really just enjoy the fact that we have a community here, just chat. Uh, talk about game, you know, enjoy some grind, hopefully bring some luck. Okay, round two. Let's see if we get something good. Hey, not bad. Jade attack? I could always use that. I haven't actually upgraded everything anyways. Oh shoot, uh, I think I'm going to have to reset guys, <laughs> this is not the best. I don't even know if I can beat this. We shall see. See if we can uh, kill this here. I really should have uh, filled up my bar, and you can see the difference when you don't have a full bar. It can be lethal. Well, if not now, I'll be able to bar next turn, so it should be okay. Oh, rough. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna force reset here. Sorry, guys. That was not very good. Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> uh, not the smartest move. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Was it? As I, said, I think this happened last time, and the problem was I was uh, paying attention to the chat and totally forgot to uh, get a bar there. Alright, let's go back out. Again, if you're not running, uh, if you're not running Melissa, you definitely need to carry a bar in. Um, and so if you're not using that, you just have to not use a bar against the horrors, which can be a little bit annoying. Yep, once you finish present day and uh, traded in all those cat emas, and it should be a lot easier now, I think they drop more frequently, then you should definitely uh, move on. There's things to do. I actually am pretty good when I uh, don't play on stream. It's just uh, uh, with you, with you all, it, uh, it becomes a little bit distracting. There. Yeah, actually, that white lie bug was tough. <laughs> good distractions, good distractions. Huh. 
Uh, okay, well, not much more here. So we're gonna buy a few more keys and then, uh, and then one last run and see if we can get anything good. Or a few last runs anyways. Okay. Um, without Grasta, if you use a one more team with all, um, all, um, you know, like Joker, Morgana, and, uh, Violet, I think you'll do a lot of damage because I think it double hits with the one more, and that should help break through the barrier. You'll probably still need a healer of some sort, um, but I think it will actually work out really well, especially, uh, with her sword dance being double crit, I think. You can try and see. I actually was caught off guard initially when I was first fighting that little white light bug. In terms of guarantees, only only the um, only the Coco is the one I'm going to guarantee summon. The other two, can't, the other um, banners, which is I was talking about Dunerith AS and Tiramisu AS, because I have none of those forms. Those are optional for me, so I can't decide. Haven't decided. It's so important to um, you know determine what I'm going to summon on because. I know you guys uh, are watching the channel, and obviously you guys like to see some summons, but at the end of the day, I know that there's a lot of pressure for me also to beat some content, and just to kind of make sure I'm up to date in terms of super bosses, I really don't want to mess up in terms of my roster. So, a lot of thinking uh, in terms of uh, thinking about what I'm going to summon, and then I'll decide at the time. Yeah, no, the white light bug is definitely tough. Keep in mind, you can always put off the content for the time being. I would say that the, the Void Grasta will do a lot. I think I used AS, um, AS Suzette as my fourth for on that team. So AS Suzette plus the um, you know, free units. Magikunda will still help, but you're right, it's, uh, it can easily overpower. And even with the uh, heal, uh, which is the guaranteed 1500 from Morgana, it, it can overwhelm your party quite a bit. I think Garam looks really good, bro. You're right. It does look really, really good. May summon on that as well. I don't have any. I don't have AS Bertrand, although I have OG Bertrand. So you know. Okay, let's get two bars, uh, two rounds in, and then. Yeah, using those three, uh, the three uh, tails of and a fourth of your choice is really good. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, at least it's not any uh, white, uh, it's not any high class scrolls. I really do like the fact that these uh, runs are really fast for future Garelia. I think the focus is uh, to have as many multi-hit uh, multi killer uh, attacks for the White Lie Bug. And like I said, the one more uh, with those three uh, P5 units is really important. Remember not to set zone, because when you have zone, the power gain on your AF is less when you do multi-hits. It's a set amount, so don't use zone. Yeah, I think AS Bertrand is a good tank. Even OG Bertrand is a good tank. Just never had to use him. So don't have any experience with him, to be honest. He's on my team. I, I did his manifest, and then it's just kind of sitting there. It's funny, I actually just recently got a hundred kills of a mob here. Um, I guess I didn't kill them all on the, in the Wasteland Overworld. Really should get to that. There we go. 
Yes, and that crit one is from his crit grass deck. Keep in mind that normally magic attacks don't crit. So having that crit grass on Garyu really helps clear our bosses uh, and mobs pretty easily. And again, once I get better units or different units, I can move it at that time. Um, if you're talking about AF gain, outside zone, within zone, I believe a 7.5% per hit within zone of the applicable attacks. So if it's a fire zone, for example, every fire attack will gain 7.5%. If you're attacking enemies with weakness outside zone, okay, so no zone, it's 2.5% per hit. So if you get three hits, that's the same, same as a bar, uh, same as a zone. But if you, in the case of um, one more, with, for example, Joker with his triple burst, that becomes six hits, right? Six hits will be 15% AF bar gain. So it actually builds faster and maintains the bar for longer than within the zone. So keep that in mind. I am looking forward for AS Tuva a manifest as well. I really think that she will fit well in a magic team. Works really well with AS Myers because they both are, uh, are um, you know, staff users that also have a quake, so they can share that graph stuff. I think that the end-to-end -end power debuff will really help because let's be honest, um, Yuna is okay, but doesn't really have any appreciable damage, and you need a debuffer on every team, right? Uh, for AF, for zone, uh, for Melissa, for the splash strike is ten percent, so that's equivalent to four hits against weakness too. So yes, she is much better, and so that's why she's awesome. Her AF bar gain and AF maintenance is crazy good. Better than any other unit. Oh, they, they'd make a killing if they sold uh, those chance scripts for money. <sighs> so third chest is nothing again. I'm not surprised at all. That's why I'm not saying anything. It's just, it is what it is. But you know, now that you guys watch my runs on a weekly basis, this is pretty much a typical luck, right? Most of the time you don't get a chance. Or, I've only had one treaties too. Non-type of magic, you still use type resistance. Apparently non-type magic is actually all type. So if you have any elemental shielding, so whether or not you put up an earth wall, water wall, or whatever, the non-type will be reduced in damage. Nothing much there. Well, they do sell 10 red keys for 5 bucks or whatever, but use paid stones, right? So there is an option there. Okay, two more runs, guys. Let's see if we can get anything exciting. Otherwise, this stream will be more of a community thing where we just kind of hung out, but nothing much got accomplished. Got, what, three, three Shadow on Clart? Uh, no real cool drops? That's too bad. Although, like I said, I appreciate you guys sitting through uh, the grind since nothing really hasn't been too exciting. But, you know, I eventually hope to reward you guys with a cool, um, you know, loot drop or something like that. Just to see something cool, right? We all want to see something cool. Yeah, I, I agree. In terms of treaties, I am looking for ES Yuen, AS, A, sorry, AS Yuen, AS uh, Sukiya, uh, AS Hismena. Those are the three I'm looking for. If I get other ones, yeah, it'd be okay, I guess. Because a lot of people are not upgrading except for those three eventually. Oh, sorry, AS Rosetta too. Oops, forgot that. I know, we want to see some cool RNGs. Like what, two chance scripts in one run? Ha ha ha. I actually don't think you can get two chance scripts here. I think you can only get one max, anyways. Okay, let's blow them out of the water with some uh, nice Inferno. I, that's my favorite AoE actually. Uh, on on stream? No, I wish. Nothing to the sort. Almost, almost. We failed at Barakai. Oh. 
cool, Michael. That's cool. Um, zone? Zone is a unit that basically um, establishes a kind of a special graphic where uh, damage from that particular element or weapon type is enhanced. For weapon zones, it's enhanced by 30%. For elemental zones, it's 50%. Um, oh, AS is that only worth it if you need it for your Pierce team. Otherwise, chance scripts and two are hard to come by. You really don't want to burn chance on something that you don't need right away on your team. Nice, congrats on the one ten pull. That is big profit. Saves you like tons of stone. Myrus does make things easier, especially AS version. Okay, come on. Oh! Yes! Yes! Finally! There we go! We ask and we shall receive. Long time coming. I'll take that. I hope you get some too, Lucas. Thanks, guys. And we have one more run after this. Let's get something good here. Come on, a couple of good treatises? Let's end it with something awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, whatever. Oh, hey, hey! Let's do this, guys! We, you realize we're probably going to go right to the cape, right? Let's go to the standard OG route. I called it. I called it. Couldn't have two strokes of luck in the same run, man. Oh well. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Last run of the night, guys. Or of the day, sorry. So, again, thank you all for staying till the end. Uh, for those who are still here. And, uh, hey, we got what we wanted. One chant is one chant. I'll take that. That was awesome. You did right into the cape. Yeah, Aether, I, I really do encourage people to grind keys while listening uh, or watching my stream. Um, you know, we all can bring each other luck together and, and honestly, hey, better things to do anyways, right? Grinding keys can be boring at times, so having friends and, and uh, a community to grind with is awesome. Yeah, I think chat scripts really clump together with the uh, uh, airship tickets because obviously it's 1 in 10 when you run a ticket, but then, you know, tickets don't come that quickly. It's like, I think you have to, to get the 30 alternate ores, essentially like 5 runs, right? And we're already set for that the level 100 horror. Okay, let's see if our last try at a satellite stadium is a good one. Oh shoot, that wasn't very good. Oh wow, that was not very good at all. I should have used something else. Whoops. Is it really only three runs? It, I think they, it's not always the case because it's one or two, right? <laughs> yes, Jose. More keys. Oh, power heal. Might as well. Ah, it's over anyway. All right. Full heal, and we are just going to. Uh, Power up in two runs, and we'll go finish off the uh, finish off the live stream here. Green, you'll get them for sure. Oh, thanks for the information, uh, Hyan. I did not know that. Fifty percent chance. 
Ah, uh, anyways, a few runs. I'll take it. Let's blow them out of the water. If you, I think if you guys use the Garyu for um, uh, for the English, he just says, does he say die? I know, I know in Japanese he says shine, right? Which is die. Um, I, I do like the, uh, the attitude with Garyu's, uh, something about worms and just... <laughs> That's right, you want me to take over these little worms? It's great. Okay, last run here. Boom! Ah, F. Oh, sorry, Archon. <laughs> you did miss the chance grip. Okay, last run. Let's see if we get anything else in the run one treaties. But I think a chance grip makes up for more, more than that. So thank you all for bringing me some sweet luck. And then uh, after this, I'm going to have some lunch, and you guys can enjoy the rest of your weekend. Alfeka starts and ends. Okay, come on, the moment of truth. Uh, well, not much there. All right, finishes off the stream with one serene light. I'll take that. And just one last thing before we end uh, end everything here. If you're curious, seventy eight. Light. So another two and you'll have uh, one extra skill. Well, okay everyone, again, thanks for joining the stream. Uh, again, um, you know, enjoy your weekend and we'll see you next time. Probably next week, same time, same channel. <laughs>